Juan Francisco Esteban Martinez. I'm the director of the Ronald E. McNair Scholars Program at the University of California at Berkeley. My name is Ina Shapiro. I am McNair alumni. Today, I'm actually a McNair Scholar Symposium Coordinator. The Ronald E. McNair Scholars Program is one of the TRIO programs. These are federally funded programs that service first-generation, low-income, underrepresented students who are interested in pursuing doctoral degrees. This McNair Scholars Program gives an opportunity for undergraduate students to experience for at least a year what it looks like to be a graduate student. The 25th Annual National Ronald D. McNair Symposium is about five days. It starts July 26th. Um, this is when students arrive and they get settled and maybe get to know the UC Berkeley campus. And then it goes all the way till July 30th. During the symposium this year, they will experience campus tours to UC Berkeley, UC Davis, and Stanford. This symposium is a congregation of about 350 to 400 students who are coming together nationwide to present their work. The PowerPoint presentation or the poster presentation. These are scholars who have spent between six to nine months studying a specific question. They're eager to pro provide the audience with the results. I've been working with Dr. Angela Gallegos over the summer on our research project about modeling electrical signals in the uterus. Now, research in this area is important because it will eventually lead to properly monitoring labor, properly regulating contractions, and helping to predict preterm birth, which is the most important because although only 10% of births are preterm, preterm births account for 85% of neonatal deaths. My research is on assessing the efficacy of using mes mesoporosyl canano particles and loading them with uh, antibiotics and, and assessing their um, ability to reduce bacteria threats. My research is looking at examining um, the hydrodynamic volume of heterofret probes using non-invasive -inva fluorescence methods, and those methods are fluorescence correlation spectroscopy and time-resolved fluorescence anisotropy. My uh, project is on forecasting the effectiveness of stimulus packages, and I focus on the 2008 recession. And um, I got involved with this project thanks to the McNair program, and really the program's changed my life. I uh, went from just wanting to be a basketball coach and not even think about economics, especially not math, to now it's all I think about. Without this opportunity, I don't think I'd have been able to even get into research. Since I've become part of the McNair program and learned the process of what grad school can do for you, both as an academic and as an individual. It's structured in a way that is very supportive and it's helpful for me as a student. It gives a lot of hope and, a lot of, and, and makes us appreciate who we are and not what we've done, but what we can do. And to accept the past and to say, how can my relationship with everyone around me and what I've done, how can that be translated into my success and then also the success of the community I grew up in? To be able to say, I am able to be a PhD or have a master's, go to graduate school as an underrepresented individual and to go back to my community and say, you kids can do the exact same thing I did because I was able to do it. We have uh, workshops on how to write your statement of purpose. Uh, financial literacy in graduate school. So these workshops, um, specifically the one today, was about creating a spending plan. So this workshop just helps to break down what, how a budget is made and how students can more easily follow along with a budget. Part of any uh, graduate application is going to be taking the standardized test that most departments require. And so therefore, having a workshop about at least introducing the format um, can be a great first step. The symposium also offers to them to find out and get to know different campuses and graduate representatives and graduate um, advisors and choose the school they want to go to. They get to network with their future colleagues that they might be working with. This year, the McNair Symposium is uh, bringing together a number of uh, 
scholars throughout the nation. I'm one of the speakers here at the McNair meeting at Berkeley. I knew Ronald McNair when he was living. He and I, in fact, studied together uh, at MIT, and we both earned our PhDs the same time. He would simply be astounded that uh, his legacy has been to impact the lives of so many young people. It's creating uh, new generations of scholars that ask new and different questions. Uh, they're well trained, they are trained by the best minds in, in the country uh, to become researchers. Here you have the future leaders in every category for as disciplines, as far as those things that we need from areas from pu public pol policy to engineering to science to social science to even the arts. They're all represented within the McNair Scholars Program and we need to have folk, more people who look like them in academia. The McNair Scholar Program is a way to allow young people to dream and dream big and increase the power of our society to ask meaningful questions and find meaningful answers. We also have other fun things like cultural events. This year we have um, African dancers, we have Aztec Mexica dancers, we have uh, meditation. This program is important, and it's important not only because it provides the opportunities to the students who need it the most, which are first generation and low income. It's righting historical wrongs about people who have been marginalized and kept out of institutions of higher education in this country. It's critically important that you have people from different perspectives and different backgrounds who are engaged in that process because Otherwise, you have knowledge that is biased towards one group. You increase the scope of knowledge and you increase the quality of the knowledge that is produced because you have people who uh, come from different places within their lives and different cultures and different economic backgrounds. Avenues that are sort of saying you can't do it or, there's, or you don't have the time to or the money to, and yet um, McNair is showing them, hey, here's a door, let me open it for you. Oh, here's another one, go through here. And one by one, the, the obstacles are being taken away from them, but they then have to run the race. The students are becoming professors. They are getting jobs and they are making a difference for the lives of current students. You're allowing your work to shine with the support of uh, wonderful faculty. You know, as higher education gets more expensive and more difficult, I think that programs like McNair only become more vital to make sure that education doesn't become just a privilege of the elite, that it's something that everyone has access to. We need to support programs like the Ronald E. McNair Scholars Program at the federal level. It's actually facing some threats in terms of uh, the political environment in which we currently live. As we educate our Congress people about who we are and who is served and the good it is doing in their communities, they will understand and not want to withdraw funding from McNair, but it, it's up to us and the students to help them understand why. We need to do a major uh, fundraising campaign, um, reaching out to our alumni, reaching out to funders, reaching out to any benefactor who are willing to provide any types of support, financial support to the program. So no matter what happens over there on, in 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, we know the spirit of McNair. We know with what Dr. McNair wanted and, and knew that the goal um, was for us to um, 
have students who can reach their potential. And the more we can do that with our underrepresented minorities, low income and first gen students, um, the more we can show them that we have their back, the more that we know that they will actually be successful. The finale of Symposium is the dinner cruise on San Francisco Bay. During the cruise, the scholars have an opportunity to celebrate their accomplishments of presented research during McNair Symposium. On the boat, they will have dinner and relax watching magnificent view of the bay, Golden Gate Bridge, San Francisco. In addition, everyone gets to have fun during the dance party on the boat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.